Hey everyone, welcome to the video and thanks for clicking. I hope you're well today. And today's video I want to talk about how to get others um, sort of in a way to get what you want, sometimes at least more likely. And that is the universal principle of give what you wish to receive. So for example, my hero, my, my heart hero inspiration peace pilgrim would say, for example, the golden rule is treat others like you would like to be treated yourself. So that's one of the most powerful teachings there, are, there is in life, uh, how to, especially for relationships. So ask yourself, well, how, what would I do if I was this person? Like, for example, I wanted someone in my um, my family to do something, and f if they did it, it's like logically speaking, without getting simply rationally speaking, it's incredibly easier for them to do it. For me, it would take them, let's say, five minutes, between one and between one minute and like six, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes. <laughs> Whereas it would take me like like half an hour or more. I have to travel to the house and everything. But they really don't want to do it. So I'm thinking, okay. So my initial emotional re re reaction was browned off. Like, why? You know, so much easier for them to do it, you know? Like, it's a bit self... Maybe selfish slash not caring to try and help me, you know? It takes me loads of time to travel and a lot of time and even... But I guess you have to ask yourself, well, if I was this person and I, would like, let's say, worked hard all of my life and I just feel like I'm retired and I don't want to do stuff, but I don't know. It's an interesting situation. But anyway getting off course sorry about that but it is actually on track too because you have to uh, think put yourself in other people's shoes other people you have to put them in their emotional shoes so you have to uh, understand how people are emotionally and mentally and physically because sometimes like people might have a hard time physically or they might have a hard time mentally or emotionally so it's always good to have compassion and non-judgment as much as we can everybody so we respond to our reaction that's the conscious and empowered that's the empowered thing to do so we we respond to our reaction that's the very important lesson to thing to learn from this video so we all have a reaction we don't judge anyone's reaction or our reaction but when the more we are like growing up and matured as a human being the more we can actually uh, respond to our reaction and make amends and work our way through and our emotional trigger or reaction and learn from it and heal and grow so, so if you want I got an offshoot of, so the idea is treat others like you want to treat them, like you want to be treated. Uh, people respond according to the influences you bring to bear upon them. So, so if you want to make friends, you got to be friendly. That's what Peace Pilgrim would say. So if you want to be understood, try understand people. It's an interesting one, you know. We all want to be understood, but little do we try and understand others. We what we do instead is we assume and we latch on and cling to an idea or a belief that isn't true. And that's tough. I see it happening a lot. We presume and assume instead of communicate. And then we end up judging and closing our heart instead of doing these things that I forget too. So I'm not trying to say I've mastered this or anything like that. Um, so that's how, so if you want to be understood, try give understanding. If you want empathy, Try uh, empathize with another person and put yourself in their shoes, their life, their body, their mind, their heart, their emotional state of being. If you want abundance and riches or wealth or prosperity, financial freedom, success, etc. General success ideas. Try give and support and, and help another person have prosperity, abundance financial freedom, well-being, success, prosperity, etc. Like I said. So that's a, a universal principle. And so so even like this works out practically. Like like, share, support, encourage, support other people's work. And um, even practically if you do this with a lot of people, then they're more likely to help reciprocate. And uh, of course if you did it with ten people and then suddenly ten people will do it with you. Or you did it with twenty people and ten people did it with you which is half of them reciprocating. Um, the more love you give, the more you'll receive in return, generally speaking, with, with, with many, many, across a variety of people. So then suddenly you're getting supported and shared. 
etc and encourage some positive energy and uh, you make contacts and you'll get shared in places and uh, all of that type of thing and then you'll be, you're more likely to have success so so remember guys if you want to be fr if you want to make friends and you want to heal and repair a relationship do be friendly and share positive energy and if you want to be loved give love it doesn't always work with some people it's not a strict rule like it's not a it doesn't work always at every second with everybody. For example, if someone's drunk or abusive or crazy or out of their mind or on drugs or maybe really low energy or something, you can't just expect this idea to work like, like it's a machine or a button. Like this is a principle and energy has effect. So of course you're going to enhance energy, the energy of a situation by being truly um, wise, loving and compassionate. Hey! <laughs> People having fun, why not? See, if I do something unusual, like by making a video and holding it in my hand, like this, like, it's fun, because I made a Facebook post saying, dare to be stupid, dare to look stupid. Just like, live life with abandonment, mindfully, from your inner sense of heart and your, your emotions. Live an emotional life fully, both the positive and the negative emotions, what they call negative or positive, all the emotions. The joy, the exhilaration, the excitement. You know, uh, but also then the sad, cry. Be angry mindfully. But also, uh, be, be loving and joyful exuberantly. So, so um, you have to dare to live everybody, you have to dare to live. Be compassionate and choose your moments and time with people. Like one of the mistakes I made lately was I just, I unfortunately picked the worst time I could probably say something to somebody and it's just a bad, I caught them at a bad time and that's like sort of my own fault also, you know. They, uh, I could have picked a better time and if they have picked a better time, they could have responded more positively and then um, I would have responded more positively according to their more positive energy, etc. But we made amends. That's life, we learn. Woo. But um, yeah, I just wanna say like, live life passionately, folks. Truly from your heart. Let loose, don't, don't hold back. Don't stifle your energy, both the positive and the negative emotions. I really just like, want you to live. Live, you gotta dare to live. You can't be afraid too much or let, try, try let go of your fears as much as possible. So uh, So I want you to sing like there's bloody nobody listening. I want you to dance like no one's looking. I want you there to be look ridiculous and stupid. Every day do something like step out of your comfort zone, do something weird, unusual or not it's fully normal to your standards. Step out of your comfort zone and live. Dare to live. Dare to live. Uh, like, like sing, dance, laugh, laugh as much as you can and love. You can't be afraid. Just go wild. Go wild mindfully. <laughs> See everyone. Don't forget to uh, befriend me, share, like, favorite, subscribe the video, all that stuff. Connect with me and uh, thanks for your support and everything else. So, thanks for all of your support and I hope you like this video and the message. And I'll see you another time. Bye. Thanks again and have a great day. I hope it touched your heart, tingled your soul, moved your spirit. And you're going to go out and have fun now and laugh and love and connect with life and people and yourself. Okay. See ya.